So today I'm going to show you a way that I have created or built a lift system for somebody to be lifted from a wheelchair uh, or other sitting to the bathtub. I've undertaken to create a lift system. Uh, the crux of this system is the actual lifting. Uh, and to do that, I have thought of a hoist that you would see used in a machine shop or a mechanic shop. Uh, basically, a, an electric hoist that is intended to haul very, very heavy items like engines straight up. Of course, not only do I need to lift it straight up, but I need to slide it over to the bathtub. This is a hoist. It's basically the same thing as a winch, only it's meant to pull, pull things uh, over, overhead. This particular one, as you may be able to see here, can haul 440 pounds with a single line, or if you use the double line option, it can hoist up to 880 pounds. On to where I'm going to put this. This is a shower bathtub, which I installed also. Um, the house came with a, a smaller, narrower bathtub. Give you a better look at this. Um, and so I wanted something that he would have plenty of room in to be able to soak. So there's the bathtub. Now, you can see there's a screw up here where I was verifying the placement of the um, support that runs across the ceiling. I've got, basically got a support just on the other side of this wall and then right here and right here. Every two feet I have a support running this way across the ceiling. And so that's where I want to put the weight. I want to put the weight on the supports. What we see here are three quarter inch steel bars, square steel bars, and brackets of aluminum alloy. Aluminum because it's more easily bent. I actually used a straight piece of aluminum, cut it about five inches each, and then bent them around the bars. This is just a piece of uh, whiteboard uh, that's also been painted. These are pretty long screws, and uh, some of them have been, I painted the ends when I painted the bars and all so that they blend in, what I did right here. But um, these were not painted, I'll have to paint those afterward. In any case, what I've done is tried to attach I've drilled holes and put bolts in the middle of these steel rails with the bolt going down and I've allowed enough space in the top that I can fit a wrench on here and hold it still when I bolt the rail on these bolts. As you can see I've got them in a row so the rail will go straight up there. And I've tried again to put these into the brackets holding this end into the support beam above. This is the box rail right here. That's uh, this side here is what's going to be facing down. It's been painted as well. I haven't drilled the holes in it yet simply because I hadn't had, I need to wait until I got to this point so I know exactly, precisely where every single bolt is because regardless of how many times I measure something, it can always be a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch off, uh, one to one side or another. So if I wait till they're up there, I should be able to mark exactly where they are by holding the box rail up to them, and then I can drill the holes exactly where they are. So that might require another couple of people, but we'll see. So I've completed the voice system for my son. I'm going to do a walkthrough for you just to give you an idea of how it would work. We start off with this small chair being a small manual chair outside of the bathroom. And as you can see, I have the sling that you would attach to the lift sitting on the chair. 
simply because I would move him from his power chair to the manual chair. For our purposes, it's easier for me, and once he's in this chair, to back him in to the bathroom, right up next to the tub. He's sitting in his manual chair, back to the wall, sitting in the sling. First thing I have to do is I have to remove the shower curtain rod, so because it obviously obstructs the sliding of the hoist. Very simple to do, however. Here we have the hoist with the Hoyer lift end and the Hoyer sling on the chair. My son's sitting on the chair. Simply roll the hoist directly over him. I have the hand control here. And it is a little noisy, but it does the job. Simple down button. I attach the straps to the Hoyer lift arm. This is a six point arm that I actually took off a manual Hoyer lift and attached it to this hoist system. My son's now sitting. Raise it up, up button. You want to always try to make sure you have your hand. If you don't have a, if he has no a little control of his head or neck muscles, or uh, has a tendency to bob his head around, you might want to put your hand behind the head. Raise it up. Now this does have an automatic stop when it reaches, reaches the top to so it stops itself. Or you can stop it at any point you want. It locks in place. He's now above the tub. Then watching his head slide him over the tub until he's centered. And lower him in the tub. Unhook it, bathe him, hook him back up. He's out. Put him back over. Unhook him again. Pretty straightforward. You have to be a little bit careful about, you have to lift the legs maybe, if the, how, depending on how long they dangle. You might want a full body sling. I've got one in the process of being ordered. Uh, this one's a little too small for him. In the, in the process of building this, I have put a bolt and a nut through on the end to stop it so it can't come off. Or if I want to take it off, I can take the bolt out and it'll slide right out. Uh, very simple. One of the things you also want to watch about is you want to watch any possible fatigue where you have your braces in the ceiling. Now these are all attached into the uh, ceiling, into the posts, uh, but you still want to watch to see if there's any sag in it over time, if not right away, and then address those when you need to. So right now we've used it several times. It works very, very well.